So what's going on YouTube? Today we're looking at the um, iOS 18.1. It's on beta version right now, but we have the Apple Intelligence and Siri. So I'm really excited about this. Um, they finally approved me to have this in Canada. Okay, so when I press this, there it is. Wow. How far is Edmonton to London? How about hotels? What's the weather there? How about places to go? So it'll remember your last search and it will answer towards that. Pretty cool. What you can do as well is double tap this so that you can ask Siri via typing. So let's say, um, create an image of a cute cat. There you go. There it is. It'll generate a few uh, images there. Pretty good. So one of the features that is here is also the writing tools. There it is. As you can see there, you can have proofread, rewrite, friendly, professional, concise. You can change them and have a summary. You can have key points as well, list and table. Let's just try some of these. So on this text, it will summarize it, as you could see there, pretty good. Um, key points, it'll actually show you the key points in this text, pretty accurate, I see. And then have a list on it, and then have tables for it as well. As you could see there, it's able to create one for us. Pretty nice. Again, we're looking back right here. Let's see if we can rewrite some of these. So for example, let's highlight this part right here with the voice over there we go and then we're just gonna go with um, rewrite there you go it gave us a different style a different text there which is really nice you can hit retry again and it will do it and i'm pretty impressed about this as well because it's super quick let's revert it back um, you can also proofread it as you can see there and then it'll tell you the recommendations in the bottom so for example um, let's just try to create a problem here. Processes, or maybe just one S. Process. There you go. Added that, and then we're gonna go with like that and hit proofread, and it's saying there to change that to that instead. Pretty nice. So it's super quick. Things that you won't see because of your text. Trying to hand this in, if you're trying to hand in a paper, and. You know, there's mispunctuations, misspellings and whatnot. It'll be able to detect it. So now in the Photos app, there is the cleanup tool that was announced, part of the Apple intelligence as well. So what we can do here is to highlight spots that it can take off. So what we're going to do is hit that one right there. Now it's gone. It, it, if it left, leaves over um, something like that on the bottom, you can just um, brush it off. As you can see there let's hit this one right here super easy now that whole section is more clean now right so let's take off this guy right here and then this person down here as you can see it kind of fills in the gap see there and then this part right here we just take off as well there you go, filled in that gap, and then this part right here, last one there, pretty good. Now this is kind of weird looking, but you could barely see that. But let's just say, let's take this whole thing off, just because it doesn't look very good. There it is. You can barely tell now. And then this weird part right here, just to clean up, clean it up a bit. So it's not perfect, as you can see but it's able to do most of the job so that's not bad at all and then once you've done that you will see in the bottom here that it was modified with cleanup on the mail app if you use the mail app it also does a summary for you as you can see up there there's a summarize button it will summarize the email as you can see there at the same time it will also give you a summarized look from the outside on, of your inbox of what's inside that mail so here you can create a 
memory movie by just describing a memory for example Disneyland tour oops tour there you go and it'll compile all the videos that is related to that that is not Disneyland but I guess that's that one those ones are <laughs> Ah, pretty close. There's a couple of there. It's in the same area, right? It's in Anaheim. So, kind of figured that it's part of it. And then if it mess up, for example, this part right here. You can edit and add more videos or photos while you're at it. And this part right here, it wasn't in Disneyland. We were just wearing Disneyland shirt. But, um... It thought that it was Disneyland. This is actually in Edmonton when when they had a, a Disney VR type of like um, interactive show. Another one is so during a call, you can now hit this part right here, and it'll have the call recording. If you hit that, everyone will be notified that this call will be recorded. that the call is being recorded, as you could see there. At the same time, if you recorded your phone call, it will automatically do a transcript on the Notes app. So this is also useful when you are taking notes during a class. So you can look back at it later on. As you can see there. That's really all I saw with this pretty important on the Apple intelligence. The other stuff like Genmoji and I think there's more like generating photos creating your own Genmoji. They're, they're not out yet. I think that will be out later on. Same with like ChatGPT and all that stuff. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Um, check out my merch below at nerdhero.ca. Subscribe for more uh, Apple intelligence or uh, iOS beta features. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. If you have any questions, I'll see you in the comments as well. Peace.